Hello, welcome to another unboxing. This time it's the crossover cooler um, pack. I've got a 2600K i7. I'm going to go over to the AMD Ryzen 1800 and rather than have to buy a new cooler, Noctua for my D15 they supply a crossover. I think you can get it for free if you ask them. I paid, um, I think it was 6 99 and it came very quickly. So basically this is the <coughs> AM4 I guess you call it socket set and a bit later on we will be um, fitting this to a Asus Hero 6 and um, I'm going to do a complete construction video so this is just a, a quick heads up on what's going to be going on so I'm I'm going to be using this crossover kit. I've got a um, an M.2. This is the NVMe SSD. This is the Evo one. I put some extra little coolers on it. I'm using that and that. And here's the star of the show. Here it is. Uh, I've never had an AMD before. I've gone right from Pentium 3. Oh look, it's sticking out the side, look. <laughs> I've gone right from uh, Pentium 3, right the way to the 2600K, which I've overclocked. It's a gig overclocked. And I've been using that for a video rendering on Premiere. I haven't got the cloud one. I'm just still using my um, CS6 version, which cost me about 600 quid, I think. So I'm still using that. Um, hopefully, well not hopefully, I mean this is going to make life a lot easier isn't it? It's going to do the rendering a lot better having an additional four cores and an additional four logical cores. So eight core, sixteen logical cores. So what do we get in here? No cooler with this one. But, I mean let's face it, most people actually, oh, <gasps> there's nothing in here. Oh no, I've been seen off. <laughs> Ah oh dear. There it is, just hiding down the side there. And there's not much in there. Okay, there we are, Ryzen 7 1800X CPU for DT, it says there. Uh, 20 megabyte cache, 3.6 gigahertz base, 4 gigahertz precision boost. But who knows what the future is going to be with this once they sort all the RAM out and everything. This box includes an AMD Ryzen processor, installation instructions and limited warranty information. There we go. So, oh there's a nice sticker. There's the bad boy in there, let's get him out. And I am static controlled here. Right. <clears throat> so, there's the actual chip. I'm not going to take it out. I don't want to really put greasy uh, fingerprints on it or anything. And I will give it a clean when it's actually in situ in the motherboard. I just use alcohol and just give it a good clean. And there's a nice little sticker there, which I'll put on my new PC case. An unboxing to follow. So if you want a closer look. God, there's a lot of pins, aren't there? It seems incredible to think that there's not one CPU in there. There's eight. And then another eight logical cores as well. I'm sounding old, I think. What else do we get? We get this. Uh, inside you will find... Certificate of Authenticity. Right, something else in here. It looks real. <laughs> uh, what else you get? Uh, three year of warranty, installation instructions, certificate of authenticity, and a three year time limited warranty, which is exactly what it said at the top there. Right, okay.
So I think that's AMD, sorry, AM3 CPUs. And I guess it's showing you how to put in an AM4. So why is it showing me an AM3? It's including information for the fan, the LED fan. Oh right, so this this covers all of the uh, Ryzen's I think. This is a, a broad one. Okay, for me, no, this the fan thing doesn't matter. I mean the fitting does. But there's normally only one way you can put the CPU into the motherboard. Just go slowly and carefully. That's the way to do it. Don't force anything. If it doesn't just drop in nicely, just pick it up and reseat it. Don't force anything. A build will be coming up in the next week or two. So I've got to pick the right moment to go offline and um, cannibalise the power supply out of my existing one and uh, some of the peripherals. So I might be offline for a few days, but uh, a few unboxings of uh, some of the parts is what I'm going through now. So there we are, there's, there's the Ryzen chip. It's fairly heavy. I think there's a lot going on in there. Alright, thanks for uh, watching this very brief unboxing. Not really much to see. See you next time. <laughs>